In this video, we're going to go over how to move applications to your memory card on the CoolPad Legacy. If this is your first time watching, first of all, thank you. Secondly, if you can hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to turn on post notifications so you can get alerted every time we post new content, it'd be awesome. All right, let's jump in, let's get started. So, we have here a memory card and we have a little tool that we're gonna use to insert the memory card called a SIM tool. So on the side of the phone here, what you're gonna do is put it right in the little hole there and this little tray will come out. You should have your um, phone memory card here or your, your SIM card here. And right above that is gonna be the um, memory card slot for the micro SD card. Put that in gently, not like I did. Oh. All right, we're gonna take that and slowly insert it. And be careful when you do it. All right, we're gonna take that and just slowly, slowly insert it into the side. All right, take that SIM tray and you're gonna slowly insert it into the side and let that snap. All right, now we're gonna unlock the phone. If you swipe down, you should see it recognizing the memory card right here. It shows you that a memory card was inserted. You're gonna tap on setup you have two options here asking how you want to use the memory card. Now, if you want to actually move apps to the memory card, you're going to need to uh, use it as an extra phone storage. So you're going to tap on phone storage. Now, keep in mind, um, if you have something on that memory card, you're going to have to do what's called format the memory card, and that's going to erase whatever is on that memory card. So my recommendation is, if this is an older memory card, you may want to think twice about using it as external storage because you'll lose any files that are currently on that memory card. You can also plug it into a computer, transfer those files first, or you can just buy a brand new memory card and we'll have a link in the description of a really inexpensive memory card you can use, around 20 bucks. Um, but basically this works better with a brand new memory card that has nothing on it. So you're gonna proceed tap format SD card. And this is gonna basically uh, set up that memory card so that you can move anything to it from the phone. This process can take about 30 seconds. So we will jump back as soon as it has completed. All right, the process has completed. Now, one thing to note, uh, the, the memory card I have is just a standard memory card. So it is showing up as a slow memory card. It says that it may not be the best one to use. So you do want to buy a good quality memory card to do this that has a fast uh, read write speed um, so that when you move apps to it, the apps will function you know, at a quick speed. So I'm going to hit continue. It's still going to work for what I want to use it for. Hit move content. Um, but it does disclaim that things might work a little bit slower in terms of what you move on to that memory card. So disclaimer, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but if you're able to purchase a memory card, you do want to purchase one that does have a higher speed. A class 10 or higher memory card would be the preferred amount. And usually on the memory card, it will have a number circled, a really small number. And if it's 10 or higher, usually that means it's a fast speed. So just FYI, I think the one I have in here is only a four speed. All right, it does say we're ready to use. So now that the memory card is formatted, the next step is showing you how to actually move memory cards or how to move apps to that memory card. So I have two apps here. I have the Netflix app and the Hulu app. Now it's important to note that not all apps are um, coded or built to be moved to external storage. 
some apps are programmed for it and some aren't. Hulu is an app, for example, that you cannot move to external storage, but Netflix is. So I'm gonna show you the process uh, so you can see how it works for the Netflix app, and also I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attempt the process with the Hulu app, but it's not gonna work because the app is encoded for it. So you'll know what to look for, and you can sort of see what apps you are able to move and what apps you aren't able to move. So we're gonna to go to the settings. We're gonna to go to apps. At the bottom, tap on see all. And we're gonna go down to Netflix. If you tap on Netflix, go to storage. You'll have this button. So it says storage used and it says internal shared storage. Now if I tap on change, it will give me the option to move it to the memory card. So I can tap on that and then I could hit move. And this can take, you know, usually only a couple of seconds. And that quick, it would, I was able to move the Netflix app to the external storage. Now, if I swipe up to the Hulu app, I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing. I'm gonna tap on storage, but you'll notice it does not have that same button, the change button, because this app, again, is not programmed to allow you to move it to external storage. So um, it's important to note as you're going through your apps, maybe your storage on the phone is low and you're trying to see, hey, what apps can I move to my external storage to help free up space? Some apps are gonna have that change button and they're gonna allow you to move it to external storage and others won't have the button and it means they're just not programmed for it and there really is nothing you can do about it. Well, that's not true. What you can do is you can, um, you can root the phone, which is an advanced uh, function you can do on the phone. Um, it's not recommended. It does void your warranty. And um, if you don't know what you're doing, you can mess your phone up. So I don't encourage it. Um, so it can be done. But basically, if you don't see the change button, I would just assume you can't do it and move on and look through the apps that will let you do it. So anyway, this has been a quick video on how to move apps to your external storage on the cool pad legacy i hope you guys did find this helpful do me a favor hit the like button if you did find this helpful and you learned something new in the video as well please leave me a comment down below and let me know if the video was helpful uh, we always take all the feedback into consideration when we make future videos so we definitely want to hear from you hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and also if you could follow us on instagram at h2 tech videos we totally appreciate that the last thing we have a new site tech made easy on the next screen you'll see a green circle if you can click on that and subscribe to our new channel as well we've got uh, awesome content on wearables and other phones on there too so thanks again for watching take care and have a good one